We can't be like the people that believe that the Bible is just a book that's written by men. People who just believe, well, it's just a, just a compilation of man's writings or something. I don't expect them to really look closely at what the Word of God says. It's easy for someone who just, oh, it's just a book of writings. Because they're going to be like, well, that's not really what they meant. Or that, that's, that, that's, that's wrong. That's an error. Because you can judge someone else's writing. If it's, just, if it's just man, who's to say they're right? But that's not the way we view the Bible. We, we believe, like it says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13, for this cause also thank we God without ceasing, because when ye received the word of God, which ye heard of us, ye received it not as the word of men, but as it is in truth, the word of God, which effectually worketh also in you that believe. So we thank God that you actually received the word of God as it is in truth, the word of God. Not man's word, but God's word. Because God's word is powerful and it's able to uh, effectually work in you. If you truly believe the Bible is the Word of God, then why not just believe it? I mean, that's a simple, the simple thing is, how about we just believe it? How about we just read it and say, wow, that's, that's what it says? Why, why, why would you have to make up excuses for what it says? And I am so sick of hearing the excuses that so-called believers make for the Word of God. I'm sick of the atheists that come along and try to get someone off their guard and say, oh, but you believe this. And, and they mock God's Word. They mock the law of the Lord. They mock what the Bible says. And they, they think that they're so smart and they're going to get you. And you know, unfortunately, we have a lot of Christians out there that don't ever read their Bible. And if they do read it, they don't really believe everything that it says. And they like to brush off everything that the Bible says that isn't popular today. And people have this mindset of just wanting to be accepted by everybody instead of, instead of realizing, no, you're supposed to be a peculiar people. You're supposed to be different. You're supposed to be set apart from the world. You know, the, the, the friendship of the world is enmity with God. You're not supposed to just be uh, um, just like the world and fit in and get along perfectly with the world. You know, we're in the world, but we're not of the world. We are supposed to be acting different. We should be living different. There ought to be something different about you if you truly believe what the Bible says. Because if you truly believe what the Bible says and you're reading it and you're following the law of the Lord, guess what? You will be different than the world. You don't have to try to be different from the world. If you try to live God's way, you will be different from the world. That's a fact. Isaiah 29, verse number 13, the Bible reads, Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth, and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. Verse 14, Therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among this people, even a marvelous work and a wonder, for the wisdom of their wise men shall perish and the understanding of the prudent men shall be hid. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord. And their works are in the dark, and they say, Who seeth us, and who knoweth us? Now, this passage I just read for you from Isaiah 29 is quoted in the New Testament by Jesus Christ. That verse where he says, This people draws near to me with their mouth and with their lips to do honor me. Because people, it's real easy to say the things that sound right and sound good. It's a whole other thing to actually have that in your heart. He says, but they've removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. The only, the only fear of God they actually have is just taught by tradition of man and just man's word and not from the word of God. Let's look at the reference. You're in Mark chapter 7, verse number 5. Because Jesus applies this to the Pharisees. Even though Isaiah, that was, you know, that was written a long time ago. Isn't it great that you can actually apply the Bible? You can actually apply the Old Testament to New Testament times? Isn't it great when you see Jesus Christ doing that very thing? Because you know what that tells me? That all these people say, oh, well, that's the Old Testament, oh, that's the Old Testament. Well, you know what? Jesus then didn't appear to know the difference between the Old Testament and the New Testament because in the New Testament, when Jesus is walking around and Jesus is that high priest, he's bringing up the Old Testament and he's applying it to his day, to the Pharisees at his time. And this is exactly what you're like. Yeah, because you know what? The Word of God is timeless. 